Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. It is Aston Villa 3, Manchester United 1. Manchester United with a nightmare from hell start against Aston Villa. We was beaten within 10 minutes. The game was done on a Sunday. 10 minutes in, you didn't even get to get a sip of your drink and let that drink or that alcohol sip in, you know. Even if it sparked a thing, you know, it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't settle into your system properly, you know. As soon as it started settling in, you can feel the buzz, it was gone because Aston Villa cut it out straight away. Yes, they cut the buzz out the juice, you know. As after 10 minutes, 2 0 down, we knew we was finished. We knew this game was done. I was like, fuck it up, man. My Sunday has been shit. My whole entire week has been shit because of Manchester United. First 10 minutes. Horrendous stop for Manchester United, guys. And us Manchester United fans, the weekend from hell now has arrived. The match from hell has arrived, you know. Of course, Manchester United have been struggling to um, to beat low block team to get as much goals, and and even a game against Real Sociedad, you can sense it that we need goals, we need goals, we need goals. And today we needed goals so badly we couldn't create. We didn't have no Bruno Fernandez, but yet in in terms of midfield wise, in terms of creativity, we wasn't it. You know that ten minutes, that first half, oh, we was just so damn horrible. With the first goal going in by Liam Bailey. Liam Bailey running through through the space and between the defence and the midfield. Of course, running past Martinez. And I just thought that Martinez would have kept an eye on him. For the first goal, it was wonderful by by, by Liam Bailey. I, I have to be honest with you. But did, they just, should it, did we deserve to just concede like that? Yes, because we was under the cush from the start. And I said to myself, Liam Bailey will be a problem. And guess what? He became a problem. Ah, Manchester United, okay, frustrating us Manchester United fans. We were so shit. And then 2 0 came out of nowhere, free kick, which, which, of course, what can you do? It was an absolutely brilliant free kick from Lucas Dino. It, it couldn't be stopped. And then you just knew it. 10 minutes in, United are 2 0 down, we're done. And whatever with that goal, that fluky goal from Luke Shaw, even I was unsure, Luke was unsure whether it took a deflection or just went in, we knew that, and I just looked at it thinking, yeah, it could be an opportunity for Manchester United to come back in the second half, and did we come back in the second half, guys? No, we didn't, no, no, we went on to concede a further goal, Jacob Ramsey, <sighs> Ollie Watkins, cutting it, the ball back, Defences all over the place, making it three goals to one. That second half, Manchester United was horrendous, horrible. And oh, what can we do now? You know, an opportunity where we could have just went up to third place, you know. And Newcastle winning 4-1. Uh, and, and you got Asna. Arsenal still win. Arsenal refuses to lose. And the stress just continues to pile on. Because we've got Aston Villa again in, in, the, in the Carabao Cup. A game where we... if. We would have rather be knocked out of the Carabao Cup and get these three points. But it is what it is, guys. Today, players-wise, Ronaldo. Yo, he was shit. Yeah, he was shit today, you know. Complaining, moaning. Just ineffective throughout the whole game. Rashford. Uh, Van der Beek again, the invisible man. What was he doing? Because we played with 10 men today, you know. He was so damn irrelevant. And now you know why. Now you can see, guys, why Van der Beek shouldn't be playing or starting. All this, Van der Beek should be given a chance, given a chance. He was given a chance, and guess what he did? Jack shit, fuck all. That's what it is. Um, Ganacho tried, but he was appalling as well. Lindelof was a victim today. But he's, he was a victim all over and over and over again. Just over again. All the time, man. You know, he was poor, man. Don't give the match a day. Has to go to Donny van der Beek. I'm, t I, I'm tired. Like, he's irrelevant. He doesn't get himself involved in the game. We were playing with 10 men today with Donny van der Beek. Guys, this has been your match reaction because I am done. Your boy, I have worried spice. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on today's game, who your man in the match was, who your donkey of the match was as well today. And, of course, tune in tomorrow for the catch-up volume. I don't know, 85, 86, where me and the boys would chop it up tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time. It is what it is, Manchester United fans. We just have to look, go, move on to the next game. Hopefully, we knock them out in the Carabao Cup. It is what it is. 
Remember, as always, subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. Remember to keep it united if you can right now this weekend. And remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. Peace because I'm pissed off.